Welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel. Guys, there is big, huge rumors going around that Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to be at the Royal Rumble next year in 2017. Now, there were rumors that Stone Cold Steve Austin may never make another appearance on WWE programming again after this year's WrestleMania. Between the injury, because when Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mick Foley and Shawn Michaels, a heartbreak kid, they all appeared at WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, Texas. And Stone Cold tore a rotator cuff at WrestleMania 32. Now, and it's being the biggest WrestleMania of all time. It's understandable why he would claim that he would be bitter end of his WWE career. However, there is new rumors going around that Stone Cold Steve Austin may have been, may be back for next year's WWE Royal Rumble next year. Imagine that. Imagine that having Stone Cold Steve Austin in the Royal Rumble. I mean, it's been a long time since we saw Stone Cold Steve Austin in a wrestling ring, actually performing, actually like wrestling in his like, you know, his shorts, his trunks, you know, his knee braces and everything. It's been a while since we saw Stone Cold Steve Austin in the Royal Rumble itself. Now, WWE recently announced that for the first time in 20 years, the WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view will be held and the Ala, I think it's Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. Well, there's a hint right there. Stone Cold Steve Austin lives in Texas. Now, because of that, the WWE Royal Rumble is already rumored to break a lot of attendance records, which is which is already adding to the great year. WWE is having after WrestleMania in Dallas. However, an appearance from Stone Cold Steve Austin could put it over the top. Now, where this is going to be at, it's going to fit 65,000 people, 65,000 fans in that arena, in that stadium. Whatever you want to call it. 65,000 people. Imagine that. 65,000 people watching Stone Cold Steve Austin come out in the Royal Rumble match itself. And people don't know what's going on. I mean, listen, even though Stone Cold Steve Austin is a part-timer, and all you know, a lot of people get sick of all these legends, these Hall of Famers coming back to WWE. And I respect that, guys. I know, like, it's all about the new era. We want new era people in the Royal Rumble. That's what we want. And I respect that, and I can understand that. Okay, I get it. You know, we don't need the Hall of Famers. But when you have Stone Cold Steve Austin, man, it makes it even 10 times better, in my opinion. And it's in Stone Cold's hometown, which is Texas. Now, the Aladome, now the Aladome sits 65,000 fans. So, obviously, WWE is looking to make the event something special to kick off the road to WrestleMania 33 with a big bang. Because the pay-per-view will be held in Shawn Michaels' backyard. Shawn Michaels' backyard. The, he expected to be involved in some capacity. So, somehow Shawn Michaels is going to be involved. So, what's that mean right there? Does that mean we're going to see Stone Cold Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels in the Royal Rumble main event itself? In the 30-man Royal Rumble? Is that what we're going to see? You know, and I respect these guys. Um, so the rumor mill is expected for Stone Cold to get involved with the event as well giving his ties with the state of Texas. WWE could be preparing their return for the Texas Rattlesnake to WWE programming. We'll likely see at least one more edition of the Stone Cold podcast before WrestleMania 33. But the WWE fans will also be welcoming him back to WWE, especially if he wants to get more involved than he has in the most recent years. Now, there's other stuff going around that The Undertaker is going to be involved in the Royal Rumble next year because... He lives in Texas as well. So we can see Shawn Michaels, um, Stone Cold, and The Undertaker in the same ring in the Royal Rumble match. Now, I respect The Undertaker, but I don't want to see The Undertaker at the Royal Rumble. You know, this guy's a part-timer. He's done everything for the WWE. 
I just don't want to see The Undertaker in the Royal Rumble. I'm a huge fan of The Undertaker. He was my, he's my favorite wrestler of all time. Always will be my favorite wrestler of all time. But I just don't want to see that guy anymore. The guy's done everything in the company. And I just don't want to see him in the Royal Rumble. So, you guys let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see Stone Cold Steve Austin in the Royal Rumble next year? Drop me your comments below, guys. Also, hit that red subscribe button to get more episodes, guys, on my show. Thank you all for viewing. Thank you all for watching. Follow me on Twitter, at the Talk Show 101 The link will be in the description for you guys below. Until then, the article is below for you guys as well. Until then, guys, I'll see you on the next show. Subscribe.